Well, less than a half a mile away from the Greensboro Coliseum complex, Greensboro police and North Carolina alcohol law enforcement agents charged 11 people after a search Friday at the Secret Cabaret Adult Entertainment Club on Westgate City Boulevard. Agents seized alcoholic beverages, which they say were being sold without an ABC permit, illicit drugs, and five firearms, one of which was stolen. Now, during the last decade or so, the city has tried to change the image of that thoroughfare leading to the Coliseum and make it a gateway to the city. The city even changed the name to Gate City Boulevard in 2015. Of course, up until then, it was High Point Road. But tonight, almost 10 years later, there are still plenty of vacant lots and empty storefronts in addition to crime. Fox 8's Justin Lundy has been looking into this tonight. He joins us live from Gate City Boulevard. And Justin, what have you learned? Well, Mayor Nancy Vaughn tells me that even though crime does happen, it's really up to the surrounding businesses to make sure that this area looks great for visitors. But when it comes to curbing the crime, she says city leaders and the Greensboro Police Department say that it's a process. Now, when I sat down with the mayor earlier today, she says the safety of Greensboro Coliseum visitors is a top priority. She did share there is a list of trouble spots in the city that law enforcement agencies keep an eye on, and the Secrets Cabaret happens to be on it but she didn't reveal how to, they plan to crack down on those establishments. I've seen outbreaks of violence in nightclub establishments really since COVID ended. Um, sadly, that Secrets is just one of a number and the ones that maybe had the most um, you know, publicity around them was the was the blind tiger, and then you know the last one was electric tequila. But there are an awful lot of others that we think are off operating in an unsafe manner. Mayor Vaughn says that there are plans to beautify the media area outside of the Coliseum, but right now there is no timeline. And I'll have the full story coming up at 11. Reporting live in Greensboro, Justin Lundy, Fox 8 News. Justin.